In today's HealthCast, research is underway into a new option for dental fillings. Local time medical specialist Christy Kruger is in our newsroom with the details. Well, these days, cavities can be filled with a variety of materials. The most popular are composite fillers that really mimic the appearance of your natural tooth. While they do look natural, dentists say composite fillers, though, don't last very long, which is why research out of Sweden is generating a lot of interest around the world. Scientists are working with a material adapted from bone fracture glue that surpasses the strength, the adhesion, and even the safety of existing materials. It's not very often that we have really big breakthroughs um, especially on a smaller scale, such as like fillings, when we talk about implants and things like that, we've had a lot of big developments. But this is huge because it could affect such a larger majority of the population. Fort Lauderdale dentist Dr. April Patterson says 91% of U.S. adults have cavities that require fillings. But how soon this new material will be available for all of us is a big question. The research is still in pretty early stages. And more research of interest today. Researchers in Washington State have discovered a possible genetic link to erectile dysfunction. Researchers from the University of Washington School of Medicine identified a mutation in one gene that also plays a role in brain development. Now, according to the team of researchers there, the underlying cause of impotence among one third of all patients could be genetic. The finding could also now lead to some new genetic based therapies for this condition that does affect more than 30 million men in the United States. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.